The Warning, also known as Without Warning, the 1981 two or two film by director Graydon Clark. Uh, this is about a alien that stalks some campers, a man. It's got Mount Martin Landau in it, uh, Jack Palance, and it's. This is one of my. Uh, well, it's not an alien knockoff. It's got the guy who played. Here, here we have the alien. So you've got you've got a shot of the alien, the guy that played Predator in the first Predator movies, and Harry and Harry and the Hendersons. Uh, the Yeti um, played this guy um, before anything else. And also um, some great gore effects. Well, it's basically about a group of teens going, innocent teens going for fun and fun at a lake in the hills and uh, being stalked by a alien that sends flying disc out, discs out to its victims. They uh, attach themselves to the victims and... Uh, uh, they sort of dig into the flesh while the alien stores uh, their bodies their mute, their bodies in a shack and uh, keeps them as food. That's all I can tell you. But please see this movie. I've got, uh, I'm looking at it now. I've got a few DVD releases up here. And uh, I've got a Blu-ray, I believe, somewhere. Uh, yes, a Blu-ray from Screen Factory, I think. Anyway, um, pick this one up. It's a must. It's for great alien. Stu it's a bit silly, but for great alien fans. Um, we've got a 96 minutes. We've got a, this tape was sort of R, um, certificate X. Both R and X, they used to, used to, um, rate this film. The distributors. I also have another copy of this on the Guild label. Yeah, I can't can't um, recommend this tape, this uh, movie enough. And grab the Blu-ray, please. Um, you don't need to grab this tape. The Blu-ray rocks. Okay, to the next. Superstition. You'll believe it just before you die. A uh, 1982 film by James Horton. Uh, this is a haunted house um, witch possession film it is good i have always liked this film and i've just acquired these tapes recently on the vtc pre-certified label and they're both section under the section three nasties list but um these two are these two are slightly different there's there is, and i'll get to that um one of them is the vtc no um you get the uh running time up distributed by vtc type um logo up there but you don't on this one up there you get the um color 80 86 minutes whatever it, whatever it is there and you don't on there also i'll open these up and further tell you how they're different oh we have the uh vtc um label here with superstition and on the side here on this one sorry if it's a rough footage um the same here but there is another one with um artwork of the of the cover that's um a big picture on here of the artwork on the that is on the cover great film great position film you must pick it up i have the blu-ray of scream factory as well and that's a lovely picture i must say Definitely needs a 4K release by someone. Um, and uh, yeah, these two Section 3s I am glad to have in my collection. Uh, yeah, so if you pick... Uh, I think they're out there if you want to pick one up for nostalgic reasons. Um, yeah, check it out. Superstition, also known as The Witch. But original title, Superstition. Section 3 nasty. Can't go wrong with this. Well made and very... Um, haunting flick alright to the next now this <clears throat> I um, I'm very happy to grab uh, uh, to have grabbed this uh, release this roadshow release of Razorback this is um, uh, uh, old uh, sort of Jaws ripoff but Killer Boar Australian film by um, 
Russell McCarthy, McCarthy, uh, however you want to pronounce it, the director of Mad Max, I believe. And what gets me going is it's the uncut R-rated version. Uh, it, it explains there. And this release, this tape is... When you get it on extras on the cut releases of the 4Ks and the Blu-rays out there, um, it comes directly from one of these. So um, I'm very happy to see it and have this um, version uncut. And it is on the kills and uh, rough stuff that is missing from the, the uh, remastered releases are qu quite extensive, you, you know. They cut a bit out of it for um yeah and they haven't restored it yet they just put this a scan of this australian roadshow tape as an extra so very happy to have this one this will stay in my collection for a long long time and i've got a real surprise for you next this is one of my favorite titles so hang on for a sec next one dawn of the mummy this is the section three nasty pre-certified vhs from uh video space and the australian version vhs and both of these are uncut fully uncut we never had a problem with this in australia not one problem yeah um yeah this was re-released when the cens censorship law came in 1984 in britain by a company called apex on vhs and they neutered this film all the cannibalism all the all the gr gruesome stuff they just cut out um well, this is the Australian version, by the way. I've watched it. <laughs> I rented this exact tape out when I was a kid. Uh, here we have here. Decapitation, disemboweling, and flesh-eating. Uh, yeah, you get what you... It's like Dawn of the Dead with mummies, but with mummies. I'm really happy to get this, but I'm especially happy to get this. And this is the original um, video space... Um, pre-certified tape so yeah a great fun dawn of the dead mummy um take off probably the uh this book that i read long ago that said the only stated the only gore mummy gore film to date so um yeah uh if you find these get one because it, it needs to be in your collection of pre-certs and make sure it's uncut too. Um, I think there was another, maybe another release that was uncut, or maybe that was uh, Evil Speak on the Video Space label, I believe. Um, one of them, or two. All right, next title. Uh, Lamberto Barber's Demons. Demoni, or Dance of the Demons. Oh yeah, this is, I constantly rented out as a kid. Who could not, if you love horror movies with this cover, who could not? I love this film to death. One of my all-time favourites. Um, everything about it. The cinema, the scene, the trap with brick walls, the ravenous demons, every everything. This tape is fully uncut. Now, there are two dubs of the English version. The international version, used with this. And the also the... Uh, Engl uh, the uh, well, made for, made for the US. Altered version. Don't go near that. If you get a DVD that's... It, that you can choose that from to watch first time choose the international version anyway yes no this tape is an amazing condition fully uncut uh what can more i can more, more can i say about this tape that it's so iconic and i've loved it for years i used to just play it over and over for it as a kid demons 2 was great and i've got that on vhs too but but this oh wow this was the real deal for me when I could grab my hands on it because it was R-rated, of course. Uh, demons, there you go. They'll make cemeteries, their cathedrals, and their cities will be your tombs. Ah, uh, yeah, a great release. I'm sorry to all the British fans that got stuck with the cut version, the tooth uh, transformation scenes and the gore. Uh, but... I've got tons of Blu-rays, 4Ks of this, all different releases, but Demons, you can't go wrong. One of my all-time favourite horror films. Uh, let's go on to the next. Day of the Dead. Now, what can I say about this? Uh, it was released later on, probably about 1988 on Roadshow, or applause, no, premiere video. 
which was a part of Roadshow. It was banned in Queensland at the time and also uses the front cover of Return of the Living Dead. As you can see, the dwarf zombie in the rain chewing on some brains. This is a great release. It's gritty, it's original. A real collector's piece and uh, I've got two of these actually in great fantastic playback condition and look no these are true pictures on the back of the film not like the front but uh yeah I I'm glad I've got them and uh if you want nostalgia you go to these tapes you know um yeah uh, day of the dead uncut version can't or can't go wrong Okay, let's move on to the next. One of my all-time precious VHS, and I managed to grab one off. Paid 180 Australian dollars for it some years ago off eBay, but I never regretted it. This is Romano Scavellini's uh, Australian video classics release of Nightmare in its original title. This is as fully uncut as, as you are ever going to get the film, both in dialogue and violence and gore and sleaze. It contains, um, I've got the I've got the 4K, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to, I plan to, from Severin. But this, um, this, I don't think in Severin they would have the credit like they have on this, on the opening credits special effects director Tom Savini because he did, wanted his name to be take, taken off so please if someone knows about the 4k before I see it that has the credit on the opening um, credits about Tom Savini stating that he um, did the, did the uh, gore please tell me um, let me know post hand I'd like to know this is curiosity but yeah, this is the real deal. Um, this is highly collectible on the uh, horror VHS Betamax market. And yeah, this is, is great. This is a great release. I hired it when I was young. And you know, it took so it made so much com controversy controversy in um, in uh, UK when the cut version was released, and the guy went to jail by over two, three. Uh, two years or something yes madness um well anyway this is it um i'll laminate my cases too i'm going to do a whole my slicks and i'm going to do a whole thing of laminating how i laminate my slicks and how i do it and uh on on tour at the light my local library i'm going to do a video about that but um this is one of my favorites one of my all-time favorites uh, anyway um to the next I have a great one Romero's Dawn of the Dead now this is the there are four versions well th I'll start with the three versions of the film as it states it's uncut here but uh if you this is the theatrical cut Romero's preferred version it's shorter than the long cut but it has tighter editing a bit I think in my opinion it's betterly bit better uh, edited um with the music and everything uh that's tighter paced not that i enjoy the don't enjoy the extra footage in a long cut but um yeah this is this is a good way to get in uh get the see when you rented out the first time as a kid anyway here it is um it's worth a lot more if you get the original band in queensland sticker on it but this one unfortunately did not so um yeah dawn of the dead from cbs fox uh yeah a masterpiece in horror this is one of my favorite zombies was zombie movies but i'll finish off with another of my favorite zombie movies and releases next zombie flesh eaters strong uncut version dpp 39 on the prosecuted list what can I say? I love the grittiness about this version, this tape. I love all the gore that's included for such an early release, and I love the fact that I'm that I have five of these that are that were banned. Anyway, um, yeah, it's a strong one. I won't, I won't, I will not settle settle for the um X-rated cinema version, even though it does have the nice X cert certified card at the beginning before the film. I just won't. Uh, this is great. 
I'm not going to open it because I've um, sealed it. So it won't open because I have the slick laminated and it sort of pushes it open by itself. But I have five copies of this. Another two of these on VHS. No, another three, two of these on VHS. And uh, two on Betamax. And guess what? Underneath this baby, it's brand new and sealed. Never, never opened. And my, one of my Betamax is the same thing. Brand new, sealed and never opened. I'm just so proud to own this tape. Um, I'll never part with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, otherwise, I've got a, I've got two other tapes that I can play whenever I want. I haven't got a Betamax, but the Betas that I bought um, were cheap. So um, that's all I'm going to do for now. For a few, and I'm going to leave it for a few days. Um, I hope you enjoyed my videos. I'm not the best commentator in, you know, I, I stutter and whatnot. So it's just, um, just how I roll. But um, pick one of these up whenever you can and uh, enjoy it because it, it, you, you can get the 4K. I've got the 4K. I hope there's another 4K that gets gets released. Um, but uh, other uh, other than that, um, I've got all the Blu-rays, the DVDs, everything of this film. I've even got the Denmark release, uncut, strong uncut version. Which I'll do all my strong uncut version VHS from Denmark on one day. But um, yeah, this is a real deal. Don't push off if you if you see an opportunity to get these. And always get the strong uncut. Get it with the strong uncut stamp on there. And in the middle, under under this, um, it should stamp state strong uncut version in red. So yeah, that's basically it for now. I'm going to go have a... Um, lovely weekend off and uh i might start again on monday and show you some of some of some some of my more um some more of my cool tapes so this is josh Fulci fan uh signing off keep collecting people goodbye